Glory to God the Father and Son Yeshua Mashiach. Genesis chapter 32 Jacob wrestles with the angel. Maftir, early in the morning Lavan got up, kissed his sons and daughters, and blessed them. Then Lavan left and returned to his own place. Yaakov went on his way, and the angels of God met him. When Yaakov saw them, he said, This is God's camp, and called that place Machanaim, two camps. Haftar of Eitzah, Hoshe, Hosea, chapter 12 verses 13, 12, to chapter 14 verse 10, 9, a, chapter 11 verse 7 to chapter 12 verse 12, 11, S. Birat Haydashar suggested reading for Parashar Vaitsa. Yochanan, John, chapter 1 verses 43 to 51. Yaakov sent messengers ahead of him to Esav his brother toward the land of Seir, the country of Edom. With these instructions, here is what you are to say to my lord, Esav. Your servant Yaakov says, I have been living with Lavan and have stayed until now. I have cattle, donkeys and flocks, and male and female servants. I am sending to tell this news to my Lord, in order to win your favor. The messengers returned to Yaakov saying, We went to your brother, Esav, and he is coming to meet you. With him are four hundred men. Yaakov became greatly afraid and distressed. He divided the people, flocks, cattle and camels with him into two camps. Saying, if Esav comes to the one camp and attacks it, at least the camp that is left will escape. Then Yaakov said, God of my father Abraham and God of my father Yitzhak, Adonai, who told me, Return to your country and your kinsmen, and I will do you good. I'm not worthy of all the love and faithfulness you have shown your servant, since I crossed the Yarden with only my staff, but now I have become two camps. Please, rescue me from my brother, Esav. I'm afraid of him, afraid he'll come and attack me, without regard for mothers or children. You said, I will certainly do you good and make your descendants as numerous as the grains of sand by the sea, which are so many they can't be counted. E. He stayed there that night, then he chose from among his possessions the following as a present for Esav his brother. Two hundred female goats and twenty males, two hundred female sheep and twenty males. 30 milk camels and their colts, 40 cows and 10 bulls, 20 female donkeys and 10 colts. He turned them over to his servants, every drove by itself, and said to his servants, cross over in front of me, and keep a space between each drove and the next one. He instructed the servant in front, when Esav my brother meets you and asks you, whose servant are you? Where are you going? And whose animals are these? Then you are to say, they belong to your servant Yaakov, and they are a present he has sent to my lord, Esav, and Yaakov himself is just behind us. He also instructed the second servant, and the third, and all that followed the droves, when you encounter Esav, you are to speak to him in the same way. And you are to add, and there, just behind us, is your servant Yaakov. For he said, I will appease him first with the present that goes ahead of me. Then, after that, I will see him myself, and maybe he will be friendly toward me. So the present crossed over ahead of him, and he himself stayed that night in the camp. He got up that night, took his two wives, his two slave girls, and his eleven children, and forded the Yabok. He took them and sent them across the stream, then sent his possessions across. 
and Yaakov was left alone. Then some man wrestled with him until daybreak. When he saw that he did not defeat Yaakov, he struck Yaakov's hip socket, so that his hip was dislocated while wrestling with him. The man said, let me go, because it's daybreak. But Yaakov replied, I won't let you go unless you bless me. The man asked, what is your name? And he answered, Yaakov. Then the man said, from now on, you will no longer be called Yaakov, but Israel, because you have shown your strength to both God and men and have prevailed. Yaakov asked him, please tell me your name. But he answered, why are you asking about my name? And blessed him there. He, Yaakov called the place Peniel, face of God, because I have seen God face to face, yet my life is spared. As the sun rose upon him he went on past Peniel, limping at the hip. This is why, to this day, the people of Israel do not eat the thigh muscle that passes along the hip socket, because the man struck Yaakov's hip at its socket.